lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. A plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. One lead, Shay. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. I need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dal Shay. You have to recover the precursor box and manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? To watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us, we do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts. He studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you can be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. He honors his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Captain Cormac at the helm! Get out, son, save! Quite a rough squall, Captain! Get out! 
Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our allies has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite. But their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. What can you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I... I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adi Wale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? About 20 years ago. Adewale intercepted a Templar convoy and stole a mysterious package. He traveled to Port-au-Prince and entrusted... <laughs> ...to a woman he believed was loyal to our cause. There, Captain! An English vessel! And she looks to be in trouble! That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look for your spyglass and see for yourself. Good sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's eyes. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. It's all spoiled. We can board and lose her for the Ah. <sighs> 